It's been nice and crisp and accurate. Foden's done brilliantly. Lovely skill again from Foden, full of confidence. Left foot, right foot, just slides it, manages to make the pass. Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to discuss how to keep control of the ball under pressure. Before we start, I would like to announce that the Econo Coaches Academy have launched their biggest ever discount only for the subscribers of this channel. So by using the code MITSUJR, you will receive 50% off on the annual subscription. Yes, 50%. I would not recommend missing out on this one as the offer will expire by the end of this month. So starting on the 27th of June and until the last day of the month, you can get the discount by using the code MITSUJR. You will be receiving all the content directly and have access to the weekly secrets, training drills, online webinars and much more. And you will enjoy all this stuff for 12 months and save 50% off the price. You can find the link in the description below. So we will not be discussing how to progress any attacks forward in this video, we just want to concentrate on keeping the possession of the ball. Let's run some in-game examples. Players will always look to apply pressure as you take your first touch. Notice what Cruz is doing here. Once he receives the ball, he covers it by keeping his body between the ball and Bernardo Silva. During this process, he rests his head up to find a suitable passing option. In tight scenarios, you want to make sure the ball is far from the opposition, and then always keep your body between them and the ball. When the pressure is applied towards you, it's easier as you can take a strong first touch to totally get rid of this pressure. The same concept can be applied whenever you identify where the pressure is coming from and figure out enough space to carry the ball into. Here the opposition is expecting Wijnaldum to move forward after receiving the ball, so he takes a strong touch towards the other direction. Now let's talk about using the second man pressing as an advantage. Have a look at what Riyad Mahrez does here. So after receiving the ball, he waits to pull or welcome this pressure from Vinicius Jr. Always remember that the pressure from the second man will never be as concentrated as the first, so you can easily take the advantage from this pressure. You can understand why this works from this example. Notice how Mahrez is asking Walker to cover his right side, as he is coming in to help. However, the second man press is usually lazy if you can say so, so you'll always have a chance to dribble towards this second man. Here again, Bernardo just received the ball. Vinicius started applying the pressure, so after rolling the ball back, Kamavinga jumped in to help with the second man pressure. Notice how Kamavinga is throwing himself towards the left side as Vinicius was pressing towards the other direction, but Bernardo Silva goes to the side where Vinicius was positioned, between the two players. Keep in mind that the second player would never expect you to pull any dribbles after keeping the ball against the pressure of their teammates. In this example, you can see how Messi used his body to cover the ball, and then Sterling decided to rush towards him as he just got out of this pressure, so Messi pulled this amazing nutmeg. In general, whenever you have two players pressing you, you can always use them to open a dribbling opportunity between them. You can also use any bad touch that you have had as a good bait to your opposition, since again they will rush into applying careless pressure. Here again Mbappe applying the same concept, and then faking a pass towards the right side since all the pressure was applied on the left, so Man City did not expect him to carry the ball between them, and that's what he does. Welcoming pressure or baiting the opposition into applying careless pressure is something that you need to start performing as a midfielder, but you should always be sure that you can apply all the concepts that we discussed so far to keep the possession of the ball. Remember that when you go for these dribbles, it's never guaranteed, and failing means that everyone will start pointing out the obvious passing options that you had, so there's always a risk to take. Even while attacking, for example, notice how taking a strong touch here was a bad decision. Knowing where the players are applying their pressure from will play a key role when you go against two or more players applying high pressure at the same time.
After dribbling past any player, try to keep the ball really close to your feet as the other players will be rushing their pressure. So by doing simple moves you can keep the possession of the ball, or even get fouled. So always try to cover the ball before going for skill moves. Let's have a look at how Modric combines scanning, covering the ball and using the second press as an advantage. This can be really helpful when getting out with the ball from the back. Notice how Bernardo waited until Cruz went for the tackle before changing his direction. So you can say that Cruz was trying to stop him from playing the long pass. Here again, same concept. Leave something hanging around the corner, which will let the opposition go for rush tackles. The same idea can be applied during counter attacks as well. Body fins are really helpful in getting rid of such high pressure. Now let's see how you can use this offensively. Always try to outplay the opposition. It's easier to say than to do on the pitch obviously, but by a lot of training you will get to a stage where you have this one second of early thinking, where you can expect what the opposition will do, and react accordingly. By faking his shots here, Pedri was able to clear his shooting lane which made this goal a lot easier for him. You can think of it as a way of pulling the opposition towards one direction and then quickly going the other way. You need to have good agility to pull these quick changes of direction. By combining everything we discussed in this video, you can keep the ball with you for a long time. A quick scan here from Bernardo, then a body fin that goes well with the scan towards the same direction to open up spaces in front of him. Then he used his body to cover the ball by placing his body between the ball and the opposition. Finally, as the second player started pressing, he goes for the space between the two players. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the analysis. If you like this dribbling related content, I've created a playlist that you can watch by clicking on the screen towards the end of this video. Before we end this, I wanted to remind you all about the amazing opportunity that the Econo Coaches Academy has provided for the subscribers of this channel. By using the code MITSUGR, you will receive 50% off on the annual subscription. So you can enjoy all their amazing content for a whole year. And save yourself half the price. As I told you at the beginning, the offer will expire by the end of this month. So I would not recommend missing on this one. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.